This is just going to be a very short video showing how I sharpen a normal straightforward kitchen knife illustrating how simple sharpening can actually be if you understand the two basic steps which are essentially to shape the edge to the proper angle and thickness and then refine the apex to the desired level of finish and minimize the burr. I start off by going to condition the stone which is a normal fine coarse stone that you buy in a hardware store. It's one of the worst stones I have because it cuts very slowly and loads very easily. So I'm loading it with a 200 grit water stone. Then I realize I haven't de-stressed the edge on the knife yet. So I take the knife and I make two very light passes into the stone. That grinds off all the weakened metal from the edge of the knife and leaves me with a very clean surface to sharpen and as well, that reflection of light that I see is very important to let me know when I can move from shaping the edge to actually sharpening it. So after the edge is cleaned off and I condition the stone a little bit with the 200 grit water stone, the first part of sharpening is very simple and very basic. All I need to do is get the edge to the proper shape, angle, and thickness. Now I've already reground this knife earlier so it has the right angle and thickness for what I wanted to cut. So all I'm doing now is planing down both sides of the apex bevel until the edge no longer reflects light. Now I know from experience how long this takes on this knife but each time you use it it blunts a little bit more so it's not 100% exact. So all I'll do is I'll hone it a little bit just wipe the edge off and then I'll check it under light to see if it's still reflecting light on the edge. The first time I checked it, it was still reflecting light up by the tip, so back to the stone, work a little bit more on the tip and a little bit more down by the base, but focus on the tip. And again, the goal here is simply to get the edge to the state where it's not reflecting light anymore. I'm not trying to create a burr. A burr is when you've sharpened the knife so much, you've caused the edge to essentially give up, collapse, it folds over, you've now created a long, great big strip of weakened metal on the edge that you got to get rid of. So you don't want to grind to a burr ever. I just want to get the knife where the edge is clean and an apex is formed. Now, once that's gone and the knife is no longer reflecting light off the edge, I just got to get the apex now refined. So I'll reduce the force a lot on the edge of the knife and essentially use very very light strokes alternating each size and just work very on the apex of the bevel itself and this is the only part that's actually sharpening the knife the rest of it is essentially shaping now at this stage the knife should easily be able to slice newsprint like it's not even there and again this is still with the finish from essentially a 200 grit water stone it's very very coarse so it's extremely aggressive but again it should easily shave and it should slice newsprint like it's not even there now depending on how much care you put into it, it may or may not be able to push cut newsprint. And you can see that this knife right here almost but not quite does a push on newsprint. I have to tilt the knife a little bit on a little bit of an angle and this creates a bit of a slicing motion and that allows it to make the cut. I try to run the knife on a perpendicular a couple of times, a true perpendicular, and it won't make the cut. So it needed a bit more refinement to get a true push cut but you can see how easy it is to get to a decent level of sharpness and again this was with a cheap bench stone loaded with a 200 grit water stone and that was essentially just to speed up the process if I didn't use that 200 grit water stone it would literally take 10 times as long on that bench stone because it cuts so slowly and loads so rapidly so again very quick video to show you just how easy it is to get a knife to a respectable level of sharpness